What's going on everybody? Welcome to What's What at Pickens U. Wesleyan Church. I'm Pastor Heath and here's all the news for the week of March 14th, 2021. This is a supersized edition. First of all, don't forget, you need to spring forward tonight. I'm recording this on Saturday the 13th. You need to spring forward tonight. If you're watching this after the 13th, hopefully you didn't forget. So we want to see you either online at church or here live, and we don't want you to be late, so make sure you spring forward. Let's get to this week's news. First of all, thank you so much for your continued faithfulness to Faith Promise Giving. We're getting closer and closer to reaching our goal. As you know, we're trying to hit that final $5,000 to rehab a well in Africa. We're just under $4,000 toward uh, left toward that goal so thank you for your continued faithfulness you've got until the end of april to help us uh, meet that goal now let's go to some news about some of the missionaries we support we want to continue praying for barry and christy van steenberg some of our missionaries to panama panama has had a lot of covid restrictions people are now allowed to leave their homes but there's still a curfew churches aren't meeting at this time because of restrictions against large large gatherings so let's continue to pray for this family as they minister uh, under these circumstances you may remember uh, two of their sons austin and barry have attended our uh, church a couple of times they're students at southern wesleyan so let's continue to surround this family uh, in prayer we also want to be praying for the Bagley family. Bob and Brenda Bagley are longtime missionaries to Africa. They're now living in Seneca and still working through global partners to build relationships and to build uh, the kingdom. Obviously, they haven't been able uh, to travel as much uh, during the pandemic, but we want to continue to pray for them as they provide leadership for some of our ministries all around the world. We also want to pray for their daughter, Mary Beth, who's been a missionary to missionary kids. She's been a teacher, she's built relationships with missionary kids all around the world, and now her focus is missionary kids who are in college. So the Bagley's have had such a huge impact through Global Partners and around the world, so let's continue to pray for them and lift them up and see what God does in and through their lives. Here's an update on some upcoming events here at Pickens View. We want to remind you about our Easter services 9 15 and 10 30 on easter sunday we're also going to be providing drive through communion on friday april the 2nd the time for that will be announced soon on april the 25th we're going to be having our local church conference uh, here at the church this is a time when we elect officers we look at the budget and we hear a report on what god has been doing in the church over the past year this has been a difficult time with a completely new pastoral staff we may never experience a year like this again new pastoral staff we're ministering in a pandemic but you know what god has been good he has brought new people into our church he has allowed us to continue ministering in our community even though it's looked a lot different so we, you want to come and be a part of that just to hear the testimonies of what god has done and now let's move to this week's who's who first let's meet carl and francis wilson carl and francis have been married for 47 years and have been attending pickens view for 34 years they both attended the wesleyan church for most of their lives they're both retired and enjoy uh, doing different things miss francis helps with our children's ministry and is on the bus when it's running on Wednesday nights. So if you haven't met Carl and Francis, they're one of the sweetest couples you would ever meet. Make sure you introduce yourself to them and we are so grateful for what they do here at Pickens View. Let's meet the Haythcock family. Sherry served in the Pickens County School District for 36 years, teaching at Liberty High School for 27 years. She was an athletic director, she was a coach, she, she taught math and physical education. She also coached volleyball at Southern Wesleyan University. And she serves in a lot of different roles here at the church. She helps teach Sunday school. She's on the local board. She's the tithe secretary. She does a lot. And she's one of the most encouraging people you will ever be around. And in retirement, she still loves staying involved with sports through volunteering through our local fellowship of Christian athletes. And a couple of years ago, her parents moved here, Bob and Jan Haycock, and they haven't been able to attend during the pandemic. They live over at Foothills Retirement Community, and Sherry has been caring for them during this time. They are also lifelong Wesleyans that have 
served in various uh, positions in all the churches they've been in and have made a difference. And it's great having them in our community and it'll be great once things clear up to have them back in church. Let's meet a new family that's been attending our church, Jim and Leslie Hamby. They just moved to Six Mile back in December and they have discovered Pickens New Wesleyan Church. They might be one of the couples you haven't met yet. They're both retired educators and it has been great having them in our community. Uh, Leslie uh, attended Fellowship Wesleyan Church in Idaho, so there is a long time connection with the Wesleyan Church. So make sure when you see them on a Sunday morning, uh, make sure you introduce yourself to Jim and Leslie and make them feel welcome to our community and to Pickens View Wesleyan. While the Hamby's may be a new couple in our church, let's meet the Walters. They have been attending Pickens View Wesleyan for over 60 years. They have literally seen it all. And you may be like, man, who, who's Bud and Margaret Walter? Well, they go by Nanny and Daddy Bud. So that's what everybody calls them here at Pickens View. They're both retired. They enjoy spending time with their grandchildren and their great-grandchildren. They are one of the most influential couples here at Pickens View, and they've been able to start coming back to church if, as things have cleared up, and it's been great to have them back. But again, if you have not met Bud and Margaret, make sure you introduce yourself to them on a Sunday morning, and we are so blessed to have them as part of the Pickens View community. As we close out this week's edition of What's What, I want to give a viewer warning because we are about to have a cuteness overload and you may not be able to handle it. You see, we've had five families in our church have babies during the pandemic. Some of them you've met, some of them we've been able to dedicate, and some of them you haven't met yet, but we want to introduce you to them right now. First off, we've got Olivia, or as we call her, Libby Dongell. She's the daughter of Brent and Natasha Dongell. Uh, Natasha's our worship leader, and Libby loves seeing her mom up on the platform and usually gives a little shout uh, when she sees her mom's up, mom up there. So if you haven't met Libby, make sure that you give her a fist bump on a Sunday morning. Next, we've got Knox Ray, who's the youngest of our new uh, babies. He was born in early September to Kendall and Courtney Ray. Big brother Easton has been a big help so far. It's been great having Knox in church with us. Courtney has gotten back in the swing of things, helping out with children's ministry, and it's great to have this sweet family in our church. We want to introduce you now to Brooks Murray. Brooks is the son of Matt and Becca Murray, and they've been back to church here a couple of times in the last couple of weeks. Again, for a lot of our families, yeah, it's hard sometimes making that decision of, of when to take the baby out, especially during a pandemic. But we're grateful to have these young ones here. But you need to make sure you welcome Brooks and say hello to Matt and Becca. We want to introduce you to Emma Ray Lum. She's the daughter of Greg and Rachel Lum, and we were actually able to dedicate her a few months back when some of her family were in town. It's been great to have them back in church uh, sometimes over the last couple of weeks. Greg works weekends, so sometimes it's hard for him to be in church, but it's been great to have uh, Emma and Rachel with us. So make sure you introduce yourself to this great family and make them feel welcome. And finally, Xander Love is the daughter of Stephen and Liz Loves. Like a lot of families, the Loves have been hunkered down during this pandemic. We totally understand they've been watching online and so we're uh, excited for things to start to clear up and to meet this precious precious child it's such an amazing thing uh, you know i love having babies in church it means that your church is growing in more ways than one and you know what's exciting uh, whitney crago she's getting ready to have a baby soon so the fun is just getting started and i can't wait until things open back up and we're able to see all these kids playing together. I mean, just think, man, they, we've got a built-in youth group right here. So we are, we've had some exciting times, we've had some trying times, but the future is bright. And so I just pray that during this season, as we get ready for Easter, that God, just as we start seeing, uh, see things start to grow and start to flourish and start to bloom, that God would begin this new work in our lives, that he would start bringing us back to life 
after really a year we would all like to forget. So God bless you. Thanks for watching this week and we'll see you soon.